Hi everybody, uh, this is a uh, little tutorial that I've made up on how to use Photoshop and Git together. Um, I often, whenever I create homepage designs, uh, end up saving multiple different versions under the sort of title of homepage one, two, three, four, five uh, on the hard drive whilst I'm uh, building a design. But it occurred to me the other day, you could actually just use Git to version control a single document. So that's what I'm gonna show you to do how to do today. Uh, first thing you need to do um, for this is just create a directory on your desktop which we'll call uh, photo git and then you need to change into the directory so this would be the directory where you're going to be saving uh, your home page design and you need to initialize it as a git directory so you just use the command git init and then it gives you a little message just to tell you that that repository has been initialized. Next thing to do is to get your homepage uh, design up in Photoshop. So this is a homepage for icelltables.com and we'll just save that into our uh, photo git folder. Okay, so if we now have a look in the folder, we should see, yep, there we go, there's the PSD right there. Um, next thing to do uh, is basically make an initial commit. Um, so we do git add, and then title of it, that adds the file to the staging area. So if we go to git status now to have a look, we can see that it says there's a new file in there ready for committing. We do git commit. And then we'll just do a quick message saying initial commits homepage version one. Great. Okay, so that's all good. But then your client comes back to you and he says, okay, yeah, yeah, I really like the design, except mm, not too sure about the color. I think I'd prefer a nice pink color. So we have to change all the colors over. And he says, yeah, I like the picture of the table, but I think what it really needs is a picture of a cat. What have you got for me? So you have a look in the uh, cat folder, which you've obviously got. And let's have a look. We've got this guy. This guy will do. Uh, let's just take the background off him. Pop him on there. And we'll put him over the top. Then you go, ah, oh, yeah, this guy clearly knows what he's talking about. That cat's clearly made everything better. So then we save our, our file. And then let's have, let's have a look what's happened in here. So let's do a run a git status on here. Ah, and then it tells us, as you can see, that it tells us that that file has now been modified. Uh, so what we can do now um, is we can uh, track the change in this by, again, adding the file to the staging area. And then we can do a commit. And we'll say add pink color and cat and save that. So now what we do is we can have a look at our, we'll do a git log which will basically tell us all of the commits that have happened on here. So you can see here, the first one here was the initial commit with the home page with the blue color uh, and no cat. And then we've got the second one up here. This number here is the ID of the commit. Uh, and that tells us that we've added the pink color and the cat on there. So what if the guy changes his mind, he comes back to you and he says, oh, actually, do you know what, I'm not sure the cat's working for me. Uh, I think I want to change it back again. Oh, no, I just saved over my changes. Well, good news is we can use version control uh, to actually change that back. Uh, where's my viewing options? There we go. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, great. So how do we do that? Okay, we have a look at the, we take the ID of the original commit and we paste that onto the clipboard and then we can do git checkout and you can paste that ID on there 
and now we've changed it over and you can see in the finder window we've changed it back to the original one so if I close this one down and open it up you can see you're back to the original version again if you want to go back to the pink colored version then we just take the ID of the, the commit where it adds the pink color and the cat we do git check out Ooh. And there you go, you can see it's changed it back. So that's just a quick demo just to show you how you can use Git uh, and Photoshop to version control your home pages uh, or any other uh, Photoshop document that you create. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.